Even though NASA, they are working on some incredible battery technology, in particular solid state batteries, which truly seem incredible. I made a video about that, by the way. They do still use a hell of a lot of fuel, as in gasoline, rocket fuel, all that stuff. However, NASA have found a very interesting way that they can massively reduce their fuel consumption. Here is what NASA is doing, which is very smart. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There is one weird trick that NASA is using to save billions of gallons of fuel. Billions of gallons. I mean, that is an insane amount of fuel. 44 years ago this July, NASA began testing a technology that would become one of the agency's most visible and beneficial contributions to commercial aviation. It's really, really so simple. You sort of think, is this real? It's called winglets. They're the upturned ends of airplane wings. Inspired by the way birds curl their wingtip feathers upwards, this innovation was developed by NASA's Langley Research Center in Langley, Virginia. After testing this design in wind tunnels in Langley, winglets proved to be effective in flight tests at what is now NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. Winglets are designed to operate in the wing tip vortex. This is a whirlpool of air that occurs at an airplane's wingtips. This whirlpool of air spirals back behind an airplane, resulting in drag. Winglets reduce that energy loss by stemming airflow down the wing and decreasing those wingtip whirlpools. You wouldn't think this would make much difference, but it actually does. By reducing wingtip drag, fuel consumption goes down and range is enormously increased. On July 24, 1979, the first winglet test flight took off from NASA Dryden Flight Research Center. This is now NASA Armstrong. The test program was a joint effort between NASA and the Air Force, which supplied the KC-135 Strato Tanker aircraft, a modified version of the Boeing 707 jetliner. Over the course of 48 test flights, winglets proved to reduce wingtip drag, increasing fuel efficiency by a staggering 7%. So simply adding wingtips means basically most aircraft today are using 7% less fuel than what they would have otherwise. Now we often mock NASA, we often say, oh, look how much NASA's done with all the billions of dollars. And then look at SpaceX, for example, who has a much smaller budget and they seem to have done far more. But NASA have done a few incredible things that we don't often hear about. This is one of them. Winglets began appearing on commercial and business jets in the early 1990s. Since then, winglets are seen on over 10,000 jets and have saved well over 10 billion gallons of fuel. They've also reduced CO2 emissions by over 132 million tons. Now, those numbers could actually be conservative because that's just what we know about. That's just the tracked data. It's very likely there's a lot more savings than that. So you could probably increase that number by 20% and still it could be a conservative figure. Now, small innovations like this truly change transportation. And there's been a number of small innovations that have made big changes. However, when it comes to internal combustion, in most regards, we've really reached the limits. For example, the CEO of Dodge said we've reached the limits of internal combustion propulsion. I think NASA is well aware of that as well. And that is why they are now focusing, and in fact, have been focusing for over 10 years, their biggest funding and efforts on new technology, which is not in, the, not in the area of gasoline, internal combustion, but in fact, on batteries and renewable energy. So clearly you can see that NASA has decided that, yeah, in fact, Dodger's CEO was right. Or maybe it's the other way around. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.